Hello. I would like to explain there's uh, I would like to explain how to trade without gambling. Um, I think it's absolutely worth mentioning um, and I figured that in so much of my trading I, I have been gambling um, and how do I and tell the difference like can we ha actually have some painted lines that I can see please could please? That's what I'm asking. That's the premise of this video. There's three things. If you're doing any single one of these wrong, if you're not doing all of these, you're gambling. Okay. And we're, I'm going to talk about them. Okay. And, and why I think that is because I know what gambling feels like. It takes one to know one. I know what gambling feels like. I know the ups and downs. I know me having something on the market and it i'm long and it's going against me and like come on come on come on and then it's going for me like yes yes and then it's going against me and then it's going for me and then it's going against me and then oh my goodness some tragic almost down to hit my stop loss almost and then it rips upwards and hits my target and then i get <sighs> the flood of relief that's what gamblers seek, the flood of relief. Haven't you ever experienced that? The relief? Yeah, that's what we all seek. That's what gambling seeks. That's what it is fed with. No, I'm not saying that I will never eat relief. You know what I'm saying? I, I will always have relief on a winning trade. It just is going to be like that. And that's why trading is so similar to gambling. It's so similar because you're never going to avoid the feelings that a game of chance will provide you. It's just going to happen. You, you, I can't never have a feeling of happiness because my target was hit and, I mean, the stop loss was hit. I can be as robotic as I can, but there's still going to be that human emotional element to it, okay? We can mute it as best we can. We can numb it as best we can. We can push it down as best as we can. We can acknowledge it and not do anything about that as best we can. But there is no never feeling the feelings of gambling and the feelings of a game of chance, such as trading. So I'm going to tell you that if we're doing these three things every single trade, we are not gambling certified certified not gambling um number one is how to trade how to trade this is an interesting one um first i'm gonna go on over them all and then i'll dive into each one uh, how to trade is basically cutting losses okay not being afraid to bite the bullet um, I don't know where that saying comes from, but that's what it is. Position sizing is the next one. If you have three contracts on when you're supposed to have two, why do you have three on? Are you aware of that? Yes. Then why do you have three on? Because I think this one's going to work. Is that your plan? No. Okay. Well, why aren't, why do you have more contracts on? you are adding emphasis to that trade my friend you're adding emphasis to that trade and therefore you're gonna you're going to vote for that team you're gonna if you're long you're adding emphasis to that trade you're adding importance to that loss and the win either one is going to give you a gambling feeling of relief if you win and a loss if you lose we don't like the loss but the loss with the relief is a gambling combination and therefore why do you add emphasis to the emphasis to the trade because you, you want money yeah that's the that's the trap you want to increase size on your winners yes well how do you know this one's going to be a winner you don't you don't know if this one's going to be a winner so why do you have three contracts on instead of two you you can't you can't unless the setup demands it Unless certain setups are better than others, therefore you 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 have it written in the plan to take three. That's what you're supposed to do. If otherwise, then why do you have three on? 
Okay, write it in your plan if that's truly how you want to trade. You shouldn't go off of just random thinking that this random occurrence will win because that's that's not true. This is a game of chance. You don't know if it's going to win and therefore you're going to lose more on your losses if it loses. So we don't want position. And position sizing should be the most mechanical thing ever. It really should be. You have a calculator of how exactly how much contracts you need or share size when you need for your risk box, and you take the trade. It's not that hard. It's not complicated. The only thing that complicates it is greed, usually because or fear when you undersize, and you don't want those contributing to your plan, contributing to your system. So position sizing is huge. If that's not on, like th these are on buttons on off off this is my trading right now i'm i know how to trade i'm taking my uh losses i'm seeking my losses out anytime i can lose i i do lose <laughs> that sounds horrible but i mean if it pivots away from me and i am i'm in good and i i'm going to trail my stop and even though i don't want to i wince when i trail my stop i don't want to trail my stop dude because it gives me a lower probability of winning that trade. But you know what? I do. I do. Because I step up to take the charge. Basketball, you take the charge. You step up into it. You don't back away, back away, back away. No. The guy's driving towards the basket. And you step up. You plant your feet. And you fucking take it. You take the charge. That is how to trade. That's how to trade. And I've been doing that. And I'm not getting paid. Why am I not getting paid? Because I'm not doing a position sizing right. It's not complicated. I bet a lot of money on my trades because I'm so confident or whatever. This one I'm going to bet more on. My position sizing is horrible, especially for my account size. What do you expect? Wrong. Wrong. If you do any of these things, you're gambling. Excuse me. That was not true. If you do... If you don't do them all you're gambling if you don't do one of them you're gambling if you have position sizing large large you can do how to trade you can only trade your setups but if you do horribly large position sizing you're gambling it's true it's true all right and then the third and final thing keeping it very simple is only trade your setups this is really really actually simple not easy this is probably the hardest one out of all of them i thought this was hard because i had a i had a very bad tendency of moving my stop loss away i didn't at the start of the day but at the end of the day i'm like it's worn me down so much that it's just fuck it i don't want to stop loss i don't want to take another loss that's solved in my life, but it's still not providing any success whatsoever. It's because of this and this. But only trade your setups, my friend. This should be unarguable because when we're in trading, you're we're you are going to argue with yourself and say, "Well, this is kind of in my setups. This is kind of right. This is should be right if I consider this as the leg down, and I can go in this way." You know. We start arguing with ourselves to take another trade. Okay, we want to take another trade. Generally speaking, most people are prone to overtrading, myself included. But you're safe. If you trade correct position sizing, you do the right thing, and you only trade your setups, you're safe. You're safe because your setups will appear only so often okay so if you do these things you you don't have to pay attention to anything else if you don't do these things if you take a trade that has large position size this is off oh but it's one of my setups this is on this is on you know so it's on so this is on man this marker sucks this is on, right? Let's say this is on. Boom. So you have only 
it, this trade happens to be only your setups. You're trailing your stop. You're doing the right thing. That's how to trade in general. But the position sizing, you're risking way too much. That's gambling. Okay. How about this? How about this? How about this one? Okay, you, you're doing it how to trade. You're you're locking in, your, your you're limiting your risk as it goes for you. You trail your stop. You you have the, the, theory and the belief and the drive, to take the charge to, to trail your stop to get in front of the market if it's gonna go against you and you you have the, you're willing to cut your loss right away. You really are. That's your belief. That's great. That's how to trade. That's on. Good. Your position sizing. You're risking the proper amount. That's on. Very good. You're you're actually looking like a professional trader now. Oh, it's not your setup. Only your setups. It happens to be one of your setups or whatever, a setup that you think will work, but it's not your fucking plan, bro. It's not your plan. It's not a setup of yours that you have chosen and you specifically chose to conduct, to execute. Why are you doing that? Why? Because you want to take another trade. Because you want you because you think this setup might work. Come on. It's not your plan. It's not your execution. The tr the the market's revolving door, revolving, revolving, revolving full of different setups, bro. And you're going to see so many opportunities and you're going to most of the time say no. I've tried saying yes to all of the setups, bro. It's crazy. It's your your outcome's going to be random. It's very random. Don't you want a targeted, focused outcome? Don't you want an accurate representation of how you trade? Then take specific accurate trades. I'm not saying every trade should work. I'm not saying a lot of them should work. I'm just saying that each and every setup should look the same, bro. They should look similar. Or you have two or three setups that all are in from the same different family. They're all related. One of them's related. You know, if this, A, B, and C, A, is all A setups, bro. B is all B setups. C is all C setups. So th that's not a grading scale. I'm just saying category, category. If you can limit it to just one setup, by all means, bro. By all means. That's fine. That's probably the best way to do it. I have four. And I'm not profitable whatsoever. I'm just saying this. <laughs> Preface. Okay, but what I've seen from my own trading and my own examination of conscience, my friend, if I do any one of these, if I don't do any one of these, I'm gambling. This is a gamble trade. Why? I'm good on how to trade. I'm good position sizing, but no, it's not one of my damn setups in my plan. I am gambling. But I'm professional. Come on. I mean, I just think it's a good setup. Look, my plan is ambiguous, all right? It's all good. Yeah, right. Your plan needs to be specific. It needs to be unarguable because guess what's going to happen next? It's going to be another trade. It's going to be another. You might lose that one or maybe, maybe, or win that, whatever. It's going to be another trade. It's going to have another temptation of trading and another one, another different type of trade. And it's going to be more and more away from your plan as time goes on. And before you know it, it's going to be a random buckshot of random fucking scatterplot of different setups. And your trading is not a strategy. It's not a system. It's just a buckshot random fucking plot. It's like me throwing the paint at the fucking wall. And that's my picture. Do you want a picture like that? Why would you want that? No. 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 The answer is to be concise. And the answer is to pick one fucking thing, man. Or two things. You're only executing that. It needs to be unarguable. It needs to be recognizable in your own in your own way. Okay? It needs to be specific. This is a big one. And this is one of the hardest things 
I will ever have to do. I don't think I've ever... I've never done this. Ever. That's really hard, bro. But I'm telling you right now, if you turn all of these on... If you turn all of these on, man... You are confirmed... Guaranteed, certified, not gambling. You are a professional. You cut your losses. You have proper position sizing on this trade. And it's only, it's your setup. It's the setup. You're trading your plan. That is professional trading. Not for one trade, not for two trades, but for hundreds and thousands of trades, you do the same thing. You follow these three, Every single time without fail, you cannot let a position sizing go south. You cannot let you move your stop away. You cannot let you take a trade without fucking setup. If you do any single one of these, you crack, you break, your ship is breaking, water's rushing in. Now you're gambling. Now you are not a professional. You are a gambler. I gambled today. Because I had this on, my position sizing went south. It was good, but then it went south. And then I it, this was good too, but this faltered too. This lasts. I can take fucking losses. It's just, when is it ever going to win, you know, sometimes? Well, if you do all these three things every single trade, if you aren't profitable, if... If your system's back to us and everything, I will have a conversation with the big man upstairs because this is the fucking wrong rule. It's the rules of the universe. You do the right thing. You work out. You eat healthy. You get fucking fit, dude. That's the laws of the universe. God has written it hard-coded. Why the hell, if you do every single one of these without fail, your focus is that this is what you do. You do every single one of these every single trade if you're not profitable i give up this game i'm done it's over because that's bullshit bro and i will i will i will when i die i will have a huge conversation with god about this because this is bullshit if you don't do if i do every single one of these and my setup is back tested and profitable Fuck you. That's what I would say to God. I'm serious. I, I That's how I strongly I feel about this. Because this is really the three things that you need to do. And if, I, if you do, let one of them fall through, you're gambling. If I never gamble, and I do all these three things, come on, bro. Come on. Please. If I, I want to do all these things, if I don't do all these things, guess what? I'll always have the regret that I gave up too soon, that I gave up when I didn't, when I didn't actually do it properly. It is possible. I just didn't do it right. Well, this is how you fucking do it. There's no excuses anymore, bro. You do these three things every single trade. Check mark, check mark, check mark. We're good. You do every single thing, every single fucking trade you take. You run that shit, and if you're not profitable, then you can fucking quit, because I tried. I tried. I don't think. I don't. I have actually no idea. All I know is your setups have to be profitable. If you, if you do proper position size, you take your loss when you can, when you do it. It's just, it should work. Laws of the universe, bro. <sighs> Position sizing is to withstand strings of losers. Um, that's just technical. But it becomes emotional. 
um, because position sizing starts ticking up, you're starting to gamble, bro. Oversize is the recipe of gambling. It's like easy. It's easy, easy, an easy tell. Only trade your setups. This is a bulletproof three things right now. This is bulletproof. If you do every single one of these, I, you can do it, bro. If you if you can't do these three things every single trade, in a day, a week, a month, those three. If you can't do it all, and you start cratering each way, whatever, you have a gambling problem, and you can and you gamble. That's gambling. I'm sorry, sorry, bro. Sorry. Why? What's the excuse of not trading a setup? Your setup. You tell me. What's the excuse? Oh, I think it's going to work. Whatever. What's the excuse of moving your stop loss further away? You're hoping, bro. You're praying. You, you're gambling. You're gambling, bro. That's gambling. It's a very, very fine line. And this is the line right here. Every single one of these things, you're not gambling. You do every single one of these, every single trade, you are not gambling. That is the purpose, bro. That's the truth. That's what I think the truth is. All right, deuces.